Bart, ready? Okay, you're gonna, we're, we're gonna paint like Dan Nelson to start out with. And Carol, can I, I need to share this with you. The top of the photograph, top half is what color? We're going to, it could be anything but bluish, probably. And you didn't mix up green, so you're going to mix up, you're going to use yellow painting. So, you with me? Word. First. Okay. This. Okay. Done. Yeah. Do something like that. Just, yeah, I'm being easy right now. And then if you want, r rinse your brush out a little bit, get it good and wet. Thalo. Either one would be okay. A thalo is, makes it a prettier green. Okay, now if yours looks a whole lot different than mine, And, um, Patty, you need more paint? Pigment. One, I'll give you one caution when you're doing this abstract. Uh, make sure it goes all the way to the edge of the canvas. Don't, don't accidentally... Uh, bottom part of the painting is green, therefore we're going to paint red. What's the relation, what's the difference between red and green? What are they? They are what? Complementary, right, so opposite end. So I'm not going to paint as much with the Add some, I'm looking for the picture again. I do want to add some complementary stuff. Maybe that's good enough, maybe. Do this quickly, just as you see that I'm doing. Yeah. And that's probably good enough. We're done. You can either leave your little pots of paint open and periodically give them a, sp a spritz or put the lid back on. I'll, I'll be leaving. Now, especially for those of you who have never seen me paint before. <laughs> you should be feeling like, this is crazy. This is crazy. What are we doing? What is he doing? This is nuts. Somebody told me he was a good painter. Talk too long, but we want to wait this just a minute to dry. I have one page. I'm not going to hand this out, but... Um, it says that crazy abstract layer, why? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Abstract painting, and then I, sh I have the finished painting and the abstract half and half in Photoshop, and the bottom here is the finished painting. Because of, this is a wedding painting. Um, the, top ha the top third of the painting is a very boring ceiling of where this... Uh, and you can't add it late and have the same effect. It's the fact that it's underneath makes all the difference. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but you can look at this later if you want, because you can see the abstract still showing through. Now, I don't, we don't know, you don't know, what part of your abstract that you just did is going to You make your entire abstract too late, because <laughs> you already did it. But that's why you make your abstract painting beautiful.
Attractive marks is basically freedom, boldness, confidence, joy, confidence, confidence, and speed. So you can't go slow and be insecure and think too much. Saying this is like an award-winning $10,000 abstract painting, no, but a little kid would like this painting. More, this is going to be our go-by. For you, they show, you know, this, this technique that is applied to other paintings. Small-ish brush. What do I mean? One is a number, number worn off. A number Best, maybe, but about a number. Now, sable, synthetics, numbers are complete. Bristle brush, a number six sable brush is a tiny. Bristle, are, do you have all synthetic soft hair brushes? Um, you may use, you can use brushes for both acrylics and oil. By telling you you need two different brushes. That's pure marketing crap to make you buy more, buy more brushes. But you can use, totally. Now do remember, hey, I don't like oils because I like acrylics because they're easy cleanup. They're ignorant. It's acrylic is what kills. Oil is easy cleanup, but all they mean is water comes out of the tap. That's all they mean, which we understand. Um, okay, so, by the way, that's a, you know, I was a professional artist for, that would be misleading to you. He only started 20 years, no, no, no. I started 60, 50 years ago, <laughs> but. They do what they're told. <laughs> Soft brushes you can control. And when you're first starting, uh, then I graduated, then I realized, oh, I want bristle brushes because they don't do exactly what they're told, and that's what you want. Almost everybody, I've known two artists in my life that came out of the shoot loose. Everybody else, thousands of artists, they all are like me. I'm tight and I want to get loose, right? Does anybody like that? Yes. I'm going to be highly suspicious if you say that's not you, but. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so if, you, if you're tight and you want to get colors, but don't use them for acrylics or oil anymore. You want bristles because they're looser. Okay, so, but you can use them this week if you didn't bring it. Draw with our brush or our brushes. What are we going to draw? Sorry, Carol. So, and you can use any color you want. I'm going to use red for this caboose. Is that a really good photograph? No. Not particularly. <laughs> you, you don't have to say that with such. <laughs> so what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. the caboose higher caboose low oh. I think low yeah. and because we could add more like windows to the building can, can we put a tree in? no 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 <laughs> you cannot I know what so, so when I'm demoing demoing you're gonna have to move okay there's there's me drawing red oh no no out of your tube Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Put your tubes away, flush down under the table. No, for the rest of the week, we use these. For the rest of the week, we use these. No, 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 no. No tuby stuff. How are we missing? We're still in a <laughs> Oh, yeah, believe me. There will be much hoopla when we go to oil. But we can't use cadmium. That's correct. I'm sorry. You mixed up red, yellow, and blue. Use the red. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it okay if our paint is not dry yet? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So we're 
using what we, we use both names. Names. Correct. I'm sorry. That, that, that's right. Yeah. Pink is magenta is fine. I'm Ooh, fine also. <gasps> Moved it down. But and down. Well, it should be in the middle. Yeah, that, that's right. Well, you, you can break the rules somewhat. I'm considering this a rule breaker to put it in the middle. Not take. All right, you should be done. Yes. <laughs> okay, what should we draw next? Uh, Frank, wherever you want them. Windows in the building. Windows in the, yeah, windows in the building. But think like... Um, the reason I say that is I'm here to bend your twig. I'm here to influence you. Just for a minute, since most of you are going to paint with one hand. And... I don't... I, okay, I should be driving some of you. For a minute, I'm a pretty darn good painter. Twig, yeah. I'm here to influence you. So <laughs> while I'm here, you're trying to be inf go. So messy. Get interesting marks. A bit to the background spilled into the object. Um, most of you just confessed I'm tight and I want to get loose and I some things you can get away with. In my so you recognize this kind of a landmark, Little Washington. Little Washington, Yep, yep. Okay. Watch me just for a minute. Is that little thing in the middle? On the thing on top, is it in the middle? No, it's a little bit to the right. Just like this thing over here and this thing over here. Smudge for another window. And then there's a... There's my shadow underneath the caboose. Okay. I bet your grandchildren love watching. This. <laughs> they, they do. <laughs> they do love watching me paint. You know, it's okay for you to be thinking that is nuts. And that is crazy. Using yeah, although it's no big deal. Okay. No big deal. I draw a distinction. A draw. I draw a distinction between drawing we draw with pencil, sometimes we draw with brushes. And that's, I just, I. <clears throat> okay, just. You would say to me, my painting is neater than yours. I encourage you to try to. is the right way, the best way, the only way until, okay? But until then, just pretend you're thinking right now. And I okay, okay? And anybody else are painting here at 18? Um, we're going to break out the, so get your brush damp again, dip it in yellow. I'm sometimes trying to be nice to you and just paint with one hand. Um, here's what I call a wet brush. 
you see, nothing comes off. Whoops. Okay. So I want wet. Now a sopping wet brush is when water is just running off it when you're just holding it. That's too much. All right. You ready? The answer is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the brown has yellow in it, the green has yellow in it, and the red, especially those of you who have a very pinkish red, the red has yellow in it. So what are we going to do? Well, um, watch. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Wet brush again. Okay, I'm done. Do <laughs> we have one honest student in the room. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Okay, go. This should not take you more than 20 seconds or 30 seconds at the most. If you take 30 seconds, you're way overdoing it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, done. Unless you took a potty break, you're done. Okay, uh, same brush, I just rinsed it off. Let's do the, the second most prominent color in this scene is red, the red caboose. The brush in red and the other corner in yellow. I do this quite a lot and we're going to mix that on the. Okay. Done. <laughs> okay. Go. Some of you, if you do this, you're on your way to painting the best painting of your career. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wouldn't it be fun? All right, that should take you 10 seconds or less. I mean, it takes more time to put the brush, paint on the brush than it does to cover the, cover the canvas. I mean, put it on the canvas. Woohoo! And here, this is the this is the playbook we're going by. In case you wonder, okay? Yes, we are. So you're gonna break out the white paint, which does not have any medium in it. And if you have a medium-sized brush, let me show you what I call a medium. Small is a six. A flat is okay. Uh, round is, hmm, okay. Handle it loosely, that'll do. <laughs> now we're going to paint white. So if, you, if you're, your white is still in the bottle, then you'll need to put out a little pile of it on your, somewhere, on a palette or somewhere, on a piece of wax that are light, not to be confused with. in value, okay? And we're gonna paint them white. So watch, watch me for, may I steal this just for a minute? Most is this over here. Yeah. And then there's caboose. Oh, and there's just like a sign or something on the side of the caboose. Did you see that? And then there's a, under another window up there and then there's some white brick to the left of there i'm done go <laughs> thank you donna <laughs> they're all the rest of you are trying to be otzy and say, yes, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> Thankfully, the very next thing in line, you who are not familiar with at the moment, but 
Okay, you should not be painting. Everybody should be done. Oh, dripping is wonderful. All right, pencil time. By the way, I'm is there an extra one? Nah. I'm sorry, I thought I thought about all right. I'm gonna draw and I do want you to watch me. Now um and at any time, by the way, when I'm demoing, feel free to come up. Um, obviously, these demos are so quick. This is the way I really work. Um, and uh, my easel's my right hand. Okay, so uh, let, but before we go, before I start drawing, though. Uh, but now, if you would, try to get outside of your grumpy adult judging mind and try to get into your innocent. Okay? Correct. 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 I'm drawing already. There's a, it's right there, right? And there's some windows and so on. But anyway, um, I'm going to take some significant steps now toward drawing. Draw as messy as I do if, if you can. So you're really trying to draw. Yeah. Um, these, um, these pencils is, ooh, look, there's a chimney thing on the, uh, and then some of the, uh, yeah, there's this window tucked in behind. It's like a little subtle, the fact that they, um, and, and now we want these, you know, things like these windows being, that's when you can't. Because otherwise, I'm probably going to... I moved... Above the caboose. That's not in the photograph. And then there's a bunch of black stuff back here. I guess it's a... Done. Go. One of you, somebody already said the the man. Oh yeah, thank you, thank. You. Is my one of my most common mantras the. class is that uh, my technique is weird enough that the first time through get down toward the end you it'll begin to make sense like oh and then you'll be saying this oh I really should have this this first painting really quickly <clears throat> Uh huh. Does that concern you at all? No. Okay. You'll get to that later, I guess. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, and and um, that's interesting. I do I do sort of have mud because I put. Nothing to do with color, it has to do with. Slight. Oh, 
Okay, this shouldn't take much longer. 20. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely wet. That's. But we are at a point now where we do need the canvas to dry. <clears throat> I mean, do we go out? Did anybody bring their own lunch or whatever. do? Okay, whatever. Okay. Yeah, it is 1230. That'd be a good time for lunch, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yahoo. Let's do that. We'll break. That pretty color. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me that's not pretty color. Pretty colors. My brushes were both quite, quite wet. You know, wet that you, water runs off when you shake it. Just to get, and you can see that by the, the red that's dripping, running over here. I love drips. Okay, that shouldn't take too long. Good. Amen. <laughs> All right. Oh, some of you are still getting paints out. Let's let's stay together here. <laughs> We're ready to move on. Now, Linda, you did not paint around your windows, did you? Yeah. Okay, good, good. <laughs> that was an accusatory statement. Oh, did you wipe them out? Ah, okay, that's, that's legal, a little premature. It's better than painting around them. Yeah, yeah. In other words, my point would be, if you're, if you're painting around your windows, that's way too neat for now, okay? You saw how I did it. Yeah, yeah. Should I not have It's okay. It's okay. Wiping them out is a mild infraction, not worth mentioning. <laughs> All right. The next thing we're going to do is small brushes again. We're going to draw in color, draw in ink, draw in paint. Um, and uh, probably, okay, let me give you a quick, a quick primer, primer lesson about transparent color. Transparent color, which is how we're going to do 95% of our painting all week is transparent. The world of transparent color is different from the world of opaque color. It's different from mixing colors on a palette. Um, first of all, you already learned this, but I didn't, I didn't pound on it. There's no such thing as transparent red. Trans, like uh, uh, um, cadmium red, when transparentized, made, it becomes a sickly bubblegum pink. It doesn't speak to your eye as, I am red, I'm just transparent. Whereas yellow and blue and all the other colors do. They say, I'm blue, I'm just transparent. Red doesn't say that. Red says, I'm a sickly bubblegum. No, there might be a, a, a right place in a painting, you understand, for that bubblegum pink. But it doesn't read to our brain like red. So you have to use a color of your shirt. So the magenta... Uh, 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 permanent rose is one of my in, is one of my favorite colors. Magenta, uh, quinacridone, uh, red. That, that in a, uh, the four color printing process. You know printing, C M Y K. It's magenta, exactly. It's not red, exactly. So how do we get red? Same way as four color printing. We put yellow on top of the magenta and then it turns red. Exactly. So that's one thing. Another thing in the in the transparent world, the darkest color, so I'm saying color here, is purple. Okay, so the darkest color you can get is purple. So that, we're going to mix up some purple right now, which is um, ultramarine and your, your red, whatever red you have. 
You can use thalo, but it'll be, a, it, it'll be a, not a very pretty purple if you use thalo. But if you use ultramarine with your red, you mix those two together, you should be able to get a pretty decent purple. And, and get this um, dark enough, if you will, that it actually looks kind of dark when you put it on your canvas. Okay, do you want to watch me? Well, no, no, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, do watch me. You can mix, mix that up later. By the way, I'm just mixing up those two on my, on a piece of, on a piece of, on my palette, but you can use a, 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 a plastic, a bit of the table. Just mix it right there in the plastic. In a minute, you're going to wipe it up, you know? Um, okay, so I'm looking now, <laughs> I'm looking for uh, dark bits. And I'm a little bit more careful than I've been up until this point. See, I'm looking at my photograph. So uh, these are pretty, I, <laughs> Donna, I want you going, <laughs> well, doggone, look at, he's actually dr make, making marks. Might we need more pigment in it? Yes, you might. Might I? No, mine, I'm happy with, yes, yes. It's very possible you might need more pigment. Still kind of messy. You know, don't, don't get too neat. I see windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, and then there's a window in, this, in the train. In the caboose, I mean train. <laughs> you can tell I live with grandchildren. <laughs> Absolutely. And then there's a tree up here, isn't there? Of some kind. Oh boy, we're, we're going to have to talk about how to paint trees here in in a minute. That's you paint trees in layers by stages. So that's just my, that's my second stage. The first one I it was with pencils. Do you remember? Then there's something slightly dark close to the roof for this caboose. All right, I think that's good enough. There you go. Yeah, starting, yeah, exactly. The image emerges out of the mist very slowly, step by step. Yes, yes, still definitely medium in this paint. Um, I commend you, there were, I didn't see everybody's painting, but more of you, you had too much medium in your paint, not enough pigment, but I, that's a good problem to have. The tendency among students, my students, is usually the opposite. Too much pigment, not enough paint, uh, 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 not enough medium. So it, it's, having too much medium is an easier problem to fix. Because at least you're on the right mindset. It's like, oh, this is real transparent, isn't it? Yes. Okay, we, I'll give you three minutes to do that. We have one more layer of acrylic and then we switch to oils. Possibly, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just, right. Well, of course, you can use what I've got there. Um, yes. Yeah. That's too light. That is. It's just too much medium, that's all. Oh, it's too much medium. Yes. Yes. 
yeah, that's all. So just wipe those off with a towel and, and um, add some paint to that mixture. And then we come around and see what you're doing. Yeah, good. <laughs> Why does that look so opaque? What? This and that is very, very, very opaque. I'm not I sure why. Yeah, you didn't add any white to it, did you? No. No. And your medium is this? Mm -hmm. Is it a combination of those two? No. What is it? Is it a it's, tube? It's a tube. Oh, I bet you I know what happened. Somewhere it's a tube. I bet it's an opaque. I bet it's an opaque. No, that's not it. Purple. Well, now, oh, you know what? It was on my palette already, on this old palette. I bet. And did it have any meat? That's see that that's opaque. No, I and add I put it in here and then added medium to it. Ah, uh, so more medium then. It, yeah. Um, a little darker by adding some blue. And some more medium. And some more medium. Yeah. And, that, and that's really dark. Right? I know. I like it. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's the right. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. <laughs> I know, smarty pants. I did it that way on purpose. <laughs> I understand Good. that problem perfectly. All right. Most of you are finished. Or very close to finished. One more layer of acrylic, and it's back to white again. Okay? Now, you don't have to wait for that purple to dry before you can do this next white layer. Okay? Be, um, it's okay if your white picks up the wet purple or wet anything. Listen to me. Just don't pretend that it's not happening. I think that's what I see students doing sometimes. It's like the Th their colors are mixing on the canvas and they're going, I don't see the colors mixing. They're not, in my mind, they're not mixing, but they are mixing. Don't do that. So you play with the mixing. You, you make it work to your advantage. If I may, it's like a watercolor. All of you started, probably did a watercolor at some point, if, even in your childhood. And it used to irritate you that you put down one stroke and then you put down another stroke and you could see where they overlapped. Right? And so then you say, well, that doesn't look good. I'm supposed to blend that all in. There is a way to blend it in. But what a real watercolorist does is doesn't try to make those strokes hidden. They play with those overlaps. Does, do you see what I mean? Same thing with this white picking up stuff. You're not going to pretend it's not happening, but you're, you're just going to make it work to your advantage. So we're putting white where there is light? That's correct. White where there is light. OK? okay? And if you, don't, if you don't mind, watch me again. For just a minute, feel free to come up close if you want to, so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm certainly looking at the photograph. Um, and I like uh, the fact that there's light in this window in particular. And there's less white. I like the fact that the windows are not the same. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of drawing. Um, many of you have taken great liberties with the image, and that's all right. But sometimes the liberties you've taken out are accidental because you didn't draw very well. And, and, and partly just because we were in a hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that, that, that is not the problem. The, the smalness of the picture is keeping you out of miles of trouble. 
Yeah. There's um, the the space between these two windows. Not now. I've moved my. Do you remember me talking about? I've. In fact, now that I look at it, it looks to me like there's actually a door there. Okay. Now I'm being fancy and doing things that are not in the photograph. That I'm. I'm, I'm thinking. Just the edge of this window is peeking through there. I like the fact that there's a little window sill there that is light and that this to the left of this. Um, we are not, of course, trying to reproduce the photographs. We are not slaves to the photograph, of course. But what the photograph does is it makes you Use it to make you do things you wouldn't have thought of to make it a better painting. Don't fall short of the photograph because of laziness to make it a worse painting. You can edit and decide things about the photograph, but one of the decisions is like, oh no, I don't want to do that. That's too hard. No, no, that's not the right answer. That is not the right answer. That's too hard. You edit things out because you do something better. But what happens most of the time, for instance, like the fact that the, the wall here, see, I, I don't know if you, you're not looking at the photograph now, but the wall to the left of that window is light. Why is it light? I haven't got a clue, but I look at it and go, oh, that's a good idea. I wouldn't have done that, you see, if, without the photograph provoking me to, to a better idea. I am not a slave to uh, the photograph, but I do allow it to make good suggestions to me that I wouldn't have thought of necessarily otherwise. Now, this window, yeah, I think I, think I still like, it's light, and I think I, I like that idea. Um, and uh, there is a window down here. I've been missing it up until now. So I'm going to add it now. It's not too late. By the way, the day will come, the time, the moment will come when it is too late to add things, even if you see them. But th we're not there yet. So um, there is a window back there I hadn't really noticed until now. And then there's light coming through underneath the carriage, underneath the whatever rigmarole hardware there is on the bottom of that caboose. There's light there. I like that. And there's some light on the caboose itself. One is this sign. Uh, at least it looks like a sign, some kind of insignia to me. It's right between the two windows. And then this window right here has light coming through it. Again, so I'm letting the painting make suggestions to me. And I'm going to use a bigger brush just for a minute to, again, make the grass the white of the light of the grass down here. Um, and I guess I'm going to make my light light patch go off the canvas in this that direction. OK, I'm done. Go. And you have to clean your brushes, your acrylic brushes, quickly, of course. And you don't leave them sitting in water because the wood will stretch and stretch the ferrules and ruin the brush. Right, so we are done with acrylic. So when you finish that phase, that stage, you may pack it up.
All right, I'll be back. I'm going to end this broadcast right here because I'll start another one when we switch to...